For Vita Voices, Global Partnership is a non-government organization that identifies, trains and empowers emerging women leaders and social entrepreneurs around the globe. Tuesday at its 14th annual Global Leadership Awards ceremony here in Washington, the partnership is honoring five women who have shown exceptional leadership in transforming the future of their communities. Among the honorees is Kawala, a political leader in Cameroon, Miss Wala. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Now, uh, you know, it's, uh, the world is so, bi so big and you're just one of the few who is being recognized for such an important award. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you did to deserve this. I think that um, probably I am in a space which unfortunately there are still too few women in, which is national politics. Politics at the very highest level and in Africa. And um, what we are, uh, what I'm being recognized for is actually the grassroots work, the work of working with the Cameroonians who are left outside of the political system, who do not have voice in the political system or even sometimes in the economic system in their country, and empowering those people to have voice and to exercise their rights, their How political are you doing rights. This? How are you doing this? We do this, it's very painstaking day-to-day uh, -day work. We do this by going out to the field, to the markets, to the motorcycle taxi drivers, uh, to the fishermen, to the women who are drying fish. And within their existing associations, because uh, there is a myth sometimes that African society is not organized. It's very organized. Uh, people are already in development associations, mm -hmm. trade associations. So we meet them. Yeah. We request a space to talk to them about the political environment in which they are in. The importance is getting a market woman to understand that the cleanliness of the market, the services she's getting in the market, are dependent on the political action that she takes. And talk about political action. Your country is one of those in Africa that has had uh, one president for a long time. I know that in 2011, you actually tried to run. You ran for president. I ran for president. You did not yes. win. What no. happened? So, yes, Cameroon in 55 years, power has only changed once. And the current president has been there for 33 years. So needless to say, we have a system which is wrought with electoral fraud. We have a system uh, which is very corrupt. We have a system where uh, there is open buying of votes. And when you come in, one, I was about 20 years younger than uh, anybody else who was running uh, at the time. But also, as I've mentioned, we were focused on grassroots people understanding the system and making an intelligent vote, a vote that really counts for themselves and their future. Um, it is extremely important for Africans to engage the political system. Politics decides but, everything. But, uh, but um, uh, what does it take? I mean, in a community or in communities where you find that uh, the population uh, kind of literally elevates the leadership to deities. They only listen to them. They don't question them. I don't think this is quite true. Uh, those deities would like to give us that impression, mm -hmm. but it's not quite true. What you find is that most people in Cameroon, and this is true for other African countries in that position, have disengaged from the political system. They, don't, they know that these leaders are not going to give them any uh, kind of service, any kind of basic social service, economic service. So they manage on their own. And this is why you see such a strong informal sector in Africa, is because people go out, the government is not going to create the conditions for them to have jobs, so they go out and they create their own jobs. The only problem with this is that we do not attain our full potential until we have okay. a political system with the interests of the average citizens at okay, hand. We hope that happens uh, soon. Congratulations for being recognized. Thank you. By Vita Voices. Thank you. As well. Thank you. Okay, uh, Kawala is an honoree of the Vita Voices 14th Annual Global Leadership Awards. Well, uh, we want uh, to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover during the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 and check out our headlines 24 7. 
voaafrica.com.